Today I am going to be showing how to make this kind of a engraving inside the ring, you know. It's like uh, like this, you know, to put your uh, logo or 925 silver, whatever you want, you can put it onto your uh, inside of your ring. That's what I'm going to teach you. So it's uh, really hard if you don't know how to do it. Uh, if you really know how to do it, then it's very, very easy. You know, uh, see like this. You know, you can really do a bullion then. Um, on the ring boolean difference okay. select the surface and then just select this for example See, it's been subtracted. If you see an X-ray on it, let's get started. So I'm going to go to new, go to millimeter, millimeter, and then click the open. So here you are getting the four screen. So you have to just press grid snap and then go to type the command here on the top circle. C R C L E. So we are going to make a circle. So we want to just start with the center right here. Just type zero. Okay. And then it'll it'll you see it is snapping to the grid. You see, snapping, 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 snapping. So if you don't on it, it won't snap. It will just keep moving. So you don't know what you where you are. So I want to have like you know 10 mm of um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So like six mm each side. So six mm one, 12 a millimeter mm -hmm. radius. So here we have a. Uh, circle so now what we are going to do is we are going to create um, so let's come to the right hand side and uh, draw us um, you know um, one circle like that and then click here or snap enable only then it will be enable and go to the um, center so and uh, let's move it copy paste delete delete the old one so you see it will be exactly pasted here So let's make a sweep. Sweep. Sweep one rail. This is the rail. Sorry. Sweep. First select the rail, okay? Then type sweep. Then select the cross sections. You will see it says cross sections. Let's select this as a cross section. That's it. It's the strip. The ring has been created. It's a simple band that uh, we have made it right now. So we want to put a 925 inside this. So how we do it? So in order to do that, in order to uh, put a 925 seal inside the shank of the ring, what we do is first we have to type the command create UV curve. So we are creating a UV curve for this one. Okay. That surface. Okay. Then 
the UV curve is created. Now let's go to this top section and move to the top. So this is not this uh, uh, infringing with this uh, design. So what we are going to do is click this, go to surface and click on the planar curves, planar curves. So the surface, you know, here, you know, wireframe, got it shaded. See, it has become a um, surface. Why we do this, you know, because we are going to make a flow along the surface. You know, this surface is grow, going to flow on this surface. So that's what we need to make a surface now. So we made it. On top of it, we will write here, go to solids, text, here you can type whatever you want, you know, 925 or your logo, whatever. So I'm going to type here, okay. So I put it up. So I, I put this one, I come to the right one, I write, um, just select everything. Go down a little bit. just turn off the wall snaps so that it will be so we have gone a little bit down deep so when we boolean it it will it will subtract the surface so what we are going to do right now is uh, flow this onto this surface in order to do that we are going to type a command called flow flow along surface so select the object to flow so this is the object okay and uh, and press enter select the base surface this is just click on this corner you know it's like exact this corner and you come here you just go not to the left hand side go to the right hand side you know and if not it will be flowing reversely click here it is flowing upside down so let me do it just control Z select the object flow long surface select the base surface here you know see it says base surface select the base surface and come here click here let's see so again it is coming reverse now I just control Z just typed control the space bar along uh, again you know so uh, keep the object selected and press here again and go to this part of the ring top so again it's again I'm doing it control uh, space bar select the target See now it has come properly. See, it has come properly. So you have to keep trying one or two times until you get it properly where you want it. You know, uh, like that. So now I'm going to do boolean difference. So now if you see, um, control uh, select them one, two, three, four. You have selected the the logo that you have put in, put it up onto your ring. Now type boolean difference. You see here it's boolean difference. In boolean difference, you have to select the subtracting object first. That is, this is the object. Then no. 
see we have selected the object boolean difference now select the object that you are going to say minus now press enter see it has been engraved so the when you print it this will show like that properly and uh, the ring will be like that so this is how you uh, put your logo exactly on the place where you want if you have any questions or doubts put a comment and then i will reply to you i'm a cad uh, rhino cad designer if you have any special projects uh, do let us know kindly like and share subscribe to our channel also that will encourage us to put up more videos and teach more people thank you bye